Okay, so this is a continuation of example 3.1 in the book. We left off on finding the total volume of backfill. However, I noticed that I made a mistake in the last video and um, I couldn't edit it out quick enough. So I'm going to edit it here. Hopefully you watch this video so that you can see I made an error. The volume of the wall, um, the height is not 8 feet. So it is 8 feet, but we're only considering the height of the wall that's inside of the trench. So in order to do that, what I have to do is if I have an eight foot wall here, it's sitting on top of a two foot footer, right? And then it's only partially underground where the backfill would be. You see the dashed line going across this as backfill here. Well, we know that this average depth is six feet because we calculated that. So what we would have to do is consider that. So we're going to take six minus two because um, six feet is the depth of the trench and two, we already have two feet for this height of the uh, footer. So we're left, if we take six minus two, we have four feet of wall that's actually uh, within the trench that will be backfilled. So right here with the volume of the wall, this height should not be eight, it should actually be uh, four. And then it changes it to 400 cubic feet. So hopefully you all watch this. I apologize for that error. It was just moving a little too quickly, which happens sometimes. Okay, so now for the total volume of backfill, what you're going to do is again, remember that we have to account for the fact that we now have something in this trench that wasn't there before. So we're going to take the volume of excavation minus the volume of the footing minus the volume of the wall. And I put the formula over here in my side notations just because at this point in time I, I don't want you guys to lose writing all your work down. Okay, so I'm, it's over here. I'm going to take um, those numbers. So I'm going to come across and I'll show you how to use the sum formula again in Excel. So I'm going to write equals the sum of open parenthesis and I'm going to take 6,600 cubic feet minus hit control, click on the 600 cubic feet minus hit control, click on the 400 cubic feet, and then close the parenthesis and hit enter. And I get 5,600 cubic feet. And again, we have to measure in cubic yards, so I'm going to do equals the sum of 5,600 cubic feet divided by 27, close my parenthesis, and I get um, a number with too many decimal places. So I'm going to right click format cell, go to number, two decimal places, say OK, and I get 207.41 cubic yards of concrete. So again, I apologize for that error that I made. Hopefully that didn't mess you up too much. Um, hopefully this video showed you how to use Excel a little bit better and what to expect from your side calculations over here. And you can start to try to use this on your homework. Just remember that I want to see all of your calculations at this point in time. So if you're doing this, you should also write it out as shown in the book as well. So in those gray boxes in the book, how they label every single element, you want to do that on a separate piece of paper and then maybe also show your Excel sheet or even on the side of your Excel sheet, you might want to show your work like how I have it here or you can scan your work and insert it like I inserted this picture. Um, but I do want you to try to practice with both if possible.